G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the Create Salesforce Object function in Anscript, and I'll show you how it works so that you can use it on your very own cloud pages. So before we get started, this is another Salesforce function, which means you can only use it once you've completed the Marketing Cloud Connect integration. If you're not sure how that works, you can check out my other video, I'll put a link in the description below. So firstly, let's have a look at the Salesforce documentation for Create Salesforce Object. As you can see, it's a nice simple function to use with just four ordinals to declare. When it's used, all it will do is create a new record inside the object that we specify in your connected Salesforce account. So to start with, we have to specify what object we wish to create the record within, and how many fields we want to specify that we want to create in that object. As you can see from the example below, a lead record is being created with two fields specified, first name and last name, with the values Chris and Cruz. So that all seems pretty simple, let's now try it out for ourselves on our very own cloud page. So we can jump into Marketing Cloud, and into Cloud Pages, we can go into our new collection, make ourselves a new content landing page. We'll call this one SF Create for today, and we'll go next, and save using a blank layout. And once our page loads, we can drag and drop a HTML content block onto our cloud page, which we use for today's testing. So to start with, let's jump back onto our documentation page and have a look at that usage code. So let's copy our code and transpose it straight across into our cloud page, and we'll modify it for today's test. So what we'll be doing is creating a related case record for an existing Salesforce contact. So I can jump into my Salesforce CRM, I've got an existing contact here called Rose. What we'll do today is create Rose a brand new case, just as if we were to jump in here into our overview panel and go brand new case for Rose. So when we create a new record, we have to make a few fields. There's some compulsory fields here. So we need, of course, to get Rose's contact ID. We'll need Rose's uh, new case status, the case origin. We should also probably put in something like the case subject. So there's some notes in there as well. So to try that out, what we can do is we actually jump in to either our Salesforce inspector to get the information that we need for each of these field and label names, or of course, we can jump into our case object within our Salesforce CRM support. We can have a look at the object manager and check out the fields and relationships. So for our case object here, I can see that status is called status. I can see that the subject is called subject. Of course, for our contact, we're going to use the contact ID value. So let's start making up this value for ourselves. We'll jump into our cloud page and start programming this function. So we'll create a new object. We'll create a new case object. There will be four fields that we include today, starting of course with the contact ID. So we'll jump back into our case object and we want that contact ID. There it is there. Make that our first value to send through. And what value are we going to send through as the contact ID? Well, it's going to be Rose's contact ID. So I'll jump into her profile and copy her contact ID from the URL into my cloud page and paste it just there. Now our next value, of course, we're going to want the subject, the status, and origin. So for status, I think new is the default, so I'll call that one new. We also want the origin and the subject. So is it called origin? You can check it out in our object manager. There it is there, case origin. So the origin will be email. We can check that out by going back into our record make a new case and make sure that we give a correct pick list value. So case origin, we can use email, perfect. Now our last value set, of course, is gonna be the subject, the title of the case that we are creating. Now the subject, we'll check, subject is called subject, perfect, and it's a text field. So back in our cloud page, the subject should be what? Let's go cam test case as our subject, perfect. Now the returned value from this function, according to our documentation, is going to be the ID of the new created record. So what we'll do, in our cloud page we are setting at ID to be equal to the new created value. So let's output the value of that case by going ID equals percent percent and we use the V function to output the value of ID. And there we go. So now when we call this create function once we schedule and publish this page, it's going to create a new case object with four values contact ID being Rose's ID, status being new, origin being email, and subject being cam test case. Perfect, we'll try it out by going schedule and publish. 
And once this completes, we should see the brand new case ID. Looking good, so there's our new case ID. To try it out for ourselves, though, we'll jump onto Rose's record. Of course, there's one case there, but if we press F5 on our screen, we'll refresh the page. And hopefully now we have, and we do, two cases with Cam Test Case as a brand new credit test. If we jump into that page, what we'll see is that the case ID is in fact the same case ID that was output on our screen, ending in LAAT, ending in LAAT, perfect. Now, of course, you can use the Create Salesforce Object function for much more than just creating cases. You could use it on a Cloud Page subscription page to create new leads or contacts. You could also use it to create a new task or perhaps even a new campaign member association if a subscriber clicks through onto one of your Cloud Pages. But hopefully this case example has given you some inspiration to go through and try it out for yourself. And if you enjoyed the example today, then please let me know in the comments below and give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.